You're about to learn what a tourist captured that no one was supposed to see, but it makes us wonder what other terrifying and amazing things have been found in water holes like swamps. You can't generally see them above the surface, so everything you pull up is either a good or bad surprise. From a T-34 tank to bog butter, here are 20 terrifying things found in swamps. Number 20. Doll Graveyard It's like something out of a horror movie. Nearly two dozen dolls stuck onto tall bamboo stakes were recovered from a swamp in Prattville, Alabama when locals could no longer deal with their creepiness. The dolls had been placed in the swamp between Prattville and Otagaville by an unknown person or persons in Bear Creek Swamp near the dirt road, County Road 3, that leads you through the wetland. According to Otaga County Sheriff's Office, the dolls either were or looked unique, and some had white spray paint on their faces and hair. Chief Deputy Joe Settinger had noticed them when driving through the swamp for a stolen vehicle report, but he thought they were a Halloween prank. However, the dolls blew up on social media, and some people were concerned. So deputies contacted the landowner, a timber company. After not receiving a response, they used a canoe to paddle half an hour to the dolls and remove them. The chief deputy said he admits the scene looked kinda creepy. They were removed from the swamp and stored at the courthouse. If an owner was found, the dolls would be given back to them. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. When two tourists were fishing in Louisiana on vacation, a tourist captured what no one was supposed to see, and it'll leave you shook. They were so focused on their lines moving in the water that they failed to spot a creature hauling itself out of the water just a few feet away. It looked like a zombie from The Walking Dead with its flesh melted away. They were only able to capture one photo before they took off, leaving all their fishing gear behind. What do you think this creature is, and what's it doing in a swampy fishing area? Comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Swamp Ghost In World War II, Captain Frederick C. Eaton Jr. was flying a B-17E Flying Fortress and had an enemy freighter in his sights. As he tried to drop a bomb out the bay doors, they malfunctioned and he had to circle for another attempt. Before he knew it, Japanese anti-aircraft batteries started attacking and damaged the wings. Finally, the doors were open and he was able to drop the bomb. In the meantime, Captain Eaton Jr. and his three crew were having to fight for their lives against gunfire. The port wing had been damaged and they were bleeding fuel, so after taking care of the enemy, they made their way southeast as far as they could go. They ended up having to land in the foothills of the New Guinea mountain range in an isolated swamp. Fortunately, they had a wheels-up landing in deep kunai grass and managed to land completely intact with no casualties. After six weeks and walking miles with the threat of malaria ever present, they made it to safety, got another plane, and flew for the rest of the war. But what became of their plane? Well, it was spotted by a Royal Australian Air Force helicopter and media started calling it the Swamp Ghost. It is now in the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum and is the only B-17 in the world showing off its battle scars. Number 18. Shigir Idol Wood doesn't preserve very well, so it's not common to come across artifacts thousands of years old made of wood. That's what makes the Shigir Idol so unique. Gold prospectors digging up a peat bog in 1894 in Yekaterinburg, Russia, found something incredibly unique. They had no idea what it was, but it was a carved 5-meter-long wooden idol that was covered front to back in human faces and hands. It also had other mysterious detailing like zigzag lines. 
The idol was put on display at the Yekaterinburg Museum with the knowledge that it was probably a few thousand years old. However, research into the idol that had been carved from a single larch wood log identified it as much older, 11,600 years old, in fact. Research also revealed that it resembled stone sculptures of Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, which are the first monumental ritual structures, and that it was likely made by hunter-gatherers. Some people believe that the Shagir idol might have depicted forest spirits or demons in the area. Archaeologist Peter Van Peterson, great name, said that the zigzag carvings on the wood might be their way of saying keep out with the intention of marking a taboo or dangerous area. Number 17. The Windover Cemetery In 1982, a road was being built to create access to a brand new housing development in Brevard County, Florida called Windover Farms. During the construction process, a backhoe operator got the shock of his life when he found skulls in his machine's bucket. Fortunately, the medical examiner and sheriff identified them as not recent, but forensic experts think they were modern Caucasian remains. And so, the journey to understanding what they were looking at began. Where those remains were found is now known as the Windover Archaeological Site, and it dates back to 6000 to 5000 BC. It's now a National Historic Landmark. In total, the muck pond the backo operator dug into contained the remains of 168 people who were buried in the peat at the bottom of the pond. Due to the characteristics of peat, the skeletons were well preserved. So well preserved that many skulls still had brain tissue. The small pond spanned about a quarter of an acre and it held water since around 9000 to 8000 BC. Back then, the sea level was lower, so the pond would have sat above the water table and have been filled by rainfall and land runoff. The rising sea level has seen it receive a thicker layer of peat, which was covered by 6 feet or 2 meters of water. Number 16. Swamp King Gator the crocodiles we have today are terrifyingly large enough, and Australia seems to take one for the team by having some of the most terrifying and dangerous animals in the world. But we definitely had a lucky escape when a prehistoric crocodile measuring over 16 feet or 5 meters was found in southeast Queensland in the 1980s. It was called the Paluderex Vincenti and was aptly called Swamp King. The skull of the croc alone measured 25 and a half inches or 65 centimeters, which would have put the terrifying beast in total at 16 feet long. We already have pretty giant crocodiles today, which are Indo-Pacific crocodiles known as Crocodilus porosus. They grow to around the same size as this prehistoric guy, but the Swamp King would have been much heavier and much broader going by the size of its skull. They haven't managed to work out how exactly it went extinct, but you won't find too many people complaining that it did. Some of the more common theories are that the crocodile species we have today caused some problems for it. But otherwise, climates may have dried up and waterways may have become unlivable for crocodiles as massive as this one. Number 15. A T-34 Tank one of the last things you'd expect to pull out of a swamp is a World War II tank. But that was the reality for a group of people who found one and removed it from a lake around 60 years after it would have entered it. The Russian-built T-34 tank appeared to have been repainted with German markings and either became stuck in battle or was abandoned when the Germans retreated. It may have also been purposefully driven into the lake to stop the advancing Soviet army from reclaiming it. It was found in 12 feet of water with about 6 feet of peat and silt covering it. Local diving club volunteers spent two weeks washing the silt off of it before pulling it to shore and removing 116 pieces of ammunition. Once the tank was removed from the water, it was taken to the War Museum in the village of Gorodenko. Surprisingly, even after six decades in the water, the diesel engine started without the need for any spare parts. In 2007, the restoration was complete and it was put on display at the museum. Tanks formed an integral part of World War II and they remain popular today. However, the T-34 was incredibly valuable to the Soviet forces and was designed to be upgraded and refined to suit the ever-changing Eastern Front. Thousands of them were lost on the battlefield. Number 14. The Hidden Community 
Today, the Great Dismal Swamp in Virginia is a national wildlife refuge, but it hasn't always been one. Instead, it used to be a refuge for people and a secret community for those who had managed to escape slavery. Researchers believe that people may have escaped lives as slaves working in plantations in Virginia and North Carolina and made their way to the secret settlement known as Maroon Communities. The general area of the swamp was also a stop in the Underground Railroad, which meant it was likely that some people in the community had come from other states. Seeing what it is today, you have to assume that those who called the community home were made of tough stuff. It wouldn't have only been home to them, but to snakes, bears, and mosquitoes. They also had to live among muddy bogs that would have made daily life quite challenging. Although they made it work. Some lived on the edges of the swamp trading and working with people who were enslaved so they could support themselves. Slave owners knew what was happening, but they benefited from extra work and didn't want to venture into the swamps themselves to capture the escaped slaves. Some other escaped slaves would settle in the swamps temporarily before moving through the Underground Railroad. Number 13. Old Krogan Man When you see photos of the old Krogan Man, you'll definitely be scared by what you saw. Imagine pulling this terrifying thing out of a bog. While it doesn't look human, it actually was. Old Krogan Man was an Irish Iron Age body from between 362 and 175 BC that was found in a well-preserved condition in 2003. It got its name from Krogan Hill near where the body was found in Ireland. Now, it's on display in Dublin in the National Museum of Ireland. As the body was so well preserved, researchers have managed to learn a lot about his life. He would have been about 6 feet 6 inches tall, which was incredibly tall for the time. He also had well manicured nails, which likely meant he was someone of high status rather than involved in manual labor. Old Krogan Man even had food in his stomach, consisting of wheat and buttermilk, which would have been his last meal. Although his diet was rich in meat, and he had lung scarring to suggest pleurisy. He was buried at the foot of an ancient hill in a bog, which would have been a lake, and some researchers believe he would have been a king or prince sacrificed by druids due to poor weather and harvests. He may have died from a stab wound to the chest, but also had an injured arm and was decapitated and cut in half. So, you know, who knows what did it. Number 12. Thousands of Bones 2015 was an exciting year for international researchers and the National Heritage Foundation. They were fortunate enough to rediscover a swamp in Mauritius near Mar la Choux that had previously been described in 1832. According to that description, there was a swamp so full of extinct animal bones you simply had to put your hand in the water to get them. This inspired a research team to go in search of it, and they found what they were looking for. And the description was correct. Otherwise, they wouldn't have found it. They managed to find many bones belonging to extinct Mauritian animals with incredible diversity. According to Dr. Hume from the Natural History Museum, it was one of the most exciting fossil excavations he had worked on. He said the sheer volume of remains was incredible, such as giant skinks, dodos, and giant tortoises. They also found fossil plant seeds and pollen so that the team could create a pre-human Mauritius to find out where the animals would have lived. Some of the materials dated back 12,000 years, which meant it was the oldest fossil site in the entire western Indian Ocean, excluding Aldabra and Madagascar. Number 11. Bog Butter most of us wouldn't dream of eating dairy products past their use-by date, even when they're stored in a fridge. So how would you feel about eating 2,000-year-old butter found in a bog? When Jack Conway from Magara in County Cavan was turf-cutting on M-Log Bog in County Meath in 2016, that was such an Irish sentence. He stumbled across a giant prehistoric 10 kilogram lump of bog butter that was thought to be around 2,000 years old. It was creamy white and smelled like strong cheese. Strangely, it still looked good enough to pair with crackers and maybe a fine wine. Would you try it? It wasn't unusual to find butter in bogs, known as bog butter, but this find was quite significant. According to the National Museum assistant keeper Andy Halpin, it was quite a big deal because it was found in an area where ancient baronies and townlands met. Such bog areas that joined separate kingdoms together were like a political no-man's land. 
Typically, bog butter was buried to be preserved and would have a cover so that it could be dug up later. However, sometimes it was buried as an offering to gods or spirits for renewed prosperity. The bog butter in this case was found 12 feet below the surface without a cover, so it was likely to be an offering. Number 10. Nuclear Bomb Imagine being trusted with a huge nuclear bomb, only to have to awkwardly shuffle into your boss's office and tell them you've lost it. I can't imagine how nerve-wracking that would be. Oh, totally unrelated, have you guys heard about the Tybee Island mid-air collision of 1958? Oh man, in February of that year, the United States Air Force lost a nuclear bomb weighing 7,600 pounds or 3,400 kilograms in the water off Tybee Island near Savannah, Georgia. During a practice exercise, an F-86 fighter plane and a B-47 bomber carrying the bomb collided. The bomb was quickly jettisoned in case it detonated during a crash and put the crew at risk of harm. But it uh, wasn't exactly known where it landed. It was presumed to be lost somewhere in Wasaw Sound. A search was mounted the next day with 100 Navy personnel and the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Squadron. They used handheld sonar and a variety of other tools and technology to locate it, but were ultimately unsuccessful. However, based on a hydrologic survey, they thought it might be buried in 15 feet of silt at the bottom of the Wasaw Sound. Today, it remains missing. Number 9. Sinkhole in Louisiana Even though there are plenty of terrifying things found in swamps, it doesn't get much more terrifying than something creating a swamp. In August of 2012, a wall of an empty salt mine in Bayou Corn broke 5,000 feet underground. Before long, rock and dirt had poured into the cavern, which then started filling with water. And that was just the beginning. In less than a year, the sinkhole had grown to 25 acres surface level and over 350 feet deep at its lowest point. It was also expected to double in size back in 2013. By 2014, it had grown in size by an acre. When you don't know how it was created, it just looks like an ordinary swamp. Bubbles of air sometimes reach the surface, and crocodiles have even now made it home. But it's anything but ordinary. And it's not just because I think crocodiles are all robots. Every now and then, it randomly starts consuming trees, and it's incredibly unpredictable since the salt mine collapsed at the side rather than at the top. As of 2014, residents of Bayou Corn had been evacuated from their homes for nearly two years and a legal battle was in full swing against the company responsible for the mine. By March of 2014, 65 people had accepted a buyout, but others had joined a class action lawsuit. Number 8. Algae Sludge Every summer, hundreds of vacationers flock to Northwest France's Bay of saint brieuc for a much-needed break. They stay in holiday homes, soak up the sun, and go for a swim at the beach. But that all changed one year when the toxic algae arrived. You would smell it before you saw it, the foul odor of rotten eggs, and then you would quickly see where it was coming from. piles of decomposing algae on some of the finest beaches in France. Green algae is common at beaches, but nothing like this. The problem was so bad that rotting algae had taken over the sand and the saint brieuc mayor was forced to close the beaches. Owners of cabins positioned on the beach were also stopped from entering them. If people did try to go to the beach, they were met with a sign that read, Danger! Toxic Gas. One woman, Sylvie Ann Morin, said her family had been visiting their cabin and the beach for seven decades, but they would have to miss a summer. The hope was that winter tides, wind, and storms would get rid of it. Number 7. Humpback Whale Plenty of absurd things are found in swamps, but the very last thing that should be in one is a young, dead humpback whale. At the time of the year that it was found in a remote swamp in the Amazon River, it should have been migrating thousands of miles to Antarctica, which makes the find even more absurd. Members of a conservation group found the whale in 2019 not far from the shore after following scavenging birds that were circling overhead. Eventually, they found the dead 26-foot-long 
long whale in shrubs and brush. Group members think it had been floating, and the tide took it into the mangrove. That was one mystery solved, but they weren't sure why it was there at all. There was simply no explanation for why a humpback whale was on the northern coast of Brazil in February. A post-mortem report would be carried out, and they could only provide some possible theories at that point. They were looking for marks to suggest it had been hit by a boat or trapped in a net, but some people believe it may have been separated from its mother or forced ashore in a storm by high tides. Or it might have been looking for food near the beach, ate plastic, and suffocated. Number 6. The Ferryman's End Many people find it quite soothing to visit gardens or an area with a pond to relax, de-stress, and contemplate life. But you may feel anything but relaxed if you're sitting by an algae-covered pond with statues that look like zombies from The Walking Dead. In rural Wicklow is an algae-covered pond in Victor's Way that features 44 very unusual statues. They are present in a privately owned garden on 20 acres in Roundwood, and the site is often called the Indian Sculpture Park. The pond was opened by German-born man Victor Langheld in 1989, who described it as a contemplation space for lone adults from age 28 to 65. It took him around 25 years to design the garden. Aside from the very specific age range that rules many people out from visiting it, there are also other criteria. No children or adolescents are around, that's covered by the age range, and you must wear outdoor garments. And that, to me, is any garment I wear outdoors. What is this? Many of the death-like sculptures in the algae-covered water are supposed to portray different life stages like self-discovery, self-realization, and self-denial. One of the most famous, The Ferryman's End, is supposed to depict an anguished state. Number 5. Homo Algus if you pay a visit to the Sene Marsh Nature Reserve in France's Gulf of Morbihan, you'll notice something quite strange in the swampy water. Something strange that also blends in with their surroundings so well that, at first, you may not notice them. However, they will quickly reveal themselves as beautiful figures named Homo algus by Sophie Prestigia Como that have been made with mud and seaweed. The algae dries with the elements, and their textures and colors change over time. They are a must-visit attraction. The beautiful swamp creatures first made an appearance in spring 2012 in Sene. People started noticing two creatures emerging from the mud that had been positioned on the edge of a coastal path. They were then placed on marshes at the nature reserve. Each sculpture looks like a real being, but they've been cleverly crafted by Sophie, then placed in different areas. She formed them with wire for framing, then covered them in chicken netting before mixing mud and algae together to form the skin. If you didn't know the backstory behind these sculptures, you would likely be terrified if you spotted them in a swamp. Number 4. Alligator Snapping Turtle If you search for the word swamp online, you might read lots of stories about spooky swamps and some pretty terrifying things being found in them. But something quite refreshing is that you can also see some pretty cool stuff in swamps as well, like animals, for example. The alligator snapping turtle, found exclusively in the U.S., lives in river systems, wetlands, and lakes from northern Florida all the way to Iowa. They almost look like dinosaurs with their spiky shells and ridges, and they have eyes on the sides of their heads. Alligator snapping turtles are the largest known freshwater turtle species and weigh up to 175 pounds or 80 kilograms. They are also primarily aquatic and spend most of their time submerged and motionless in the water. In fact, they spend so long in the water that they almost become a bit like swamp monsters. Algae starts to grow on their shells. They can remain in the water for just about an hour before they need to come up for a gulp of air. While egg-laying females do venture onto land, almost all others don't. They'll spend between 11 and 45 years in the wild, relaxing in the water, basically doing nothing. That's pretty much me each summer. Number 3. Huge Anaconda I knew there was a reason I stayed away from swamps. Aside from the fact that I'm not a huge fan of accidental human archaeology, I also don't like the idea that I may just stumble across a massive green anaconda. 
They mostly live in slow-moving streams, swamps, and marshes, and can be found in rainforests within Amazon and Orinoco basins. As these non-venomous constrictors can grow up to around 17 feet long, or over 5 meters, they find it easier to move around when they're in the water. As you can probably imagine, green anacondas are the heaviest known snake species, and also one of the longest. They are sometimes called common water boa and common anaconda, and have olive green bodies with black spots and narrow heads with some yellow striping. Fortunately, they aren't known to devour humans, even though they look capable of doing so. Instead, they eat almost anything they can overpower, like fish, birds, mammals, and reptiles. Some of the most giant anacondas have also been known to eat larger animals like caimans, deer, and tapirs. They eat by floating just below the water surface and then striking when prey stops to drink the water. They then coil their bodies around their prey and constrict it until it suffocates. What a way to go. Number 2. Bahia Horned Beast we can never attempt to fully understand everything about the world we live in. Some people see things they can't explain or experience something so absurd that no one believes it happened. In 2007, a 15-year-old American girl was in Brazil when she snapped a photo that continues to be at the center of online debates all these years later. The picture was of a creature of some kind at the edge of a swampy area. It looked almost humanoid with an exposed skull, devil-like horns, and carrying something like a weapon or perhaps even its offspring. Even as you learn about the possible theories, it just seems too insane to be true. But there doesn't appear to be any other logical explanation for it. The photo is clear enough for it to not look like a costume. Some believe it was a sign of demonic physicality, while others thought it might relate to Greek mythology culture. In Greek mythology, there are satyrs, which are goat-type men with long ears, horns like goats, tails, and legs. We're not sure how the girl managed to capture the photo, but it looks like she did it from a distance without the creature spotting her. Otherwise, she may not have been able to post it to the internet if she had been seen. Number 1. Giant Centipede Ready to have something make your skin crawl? Yeah, me too. Well, the Amazonian giant centipede should do it. They are massive yellow-legged centipedes that grow up to 12 inches long with dozens of fast little legs. They are mostly found in tropical and subtropical rainforests in South America, but also live in some parts of the Caribbean and a few other places. Amazonian giant centipedes mostly live in moist soil, leaf litter, and rotten wood. They'll always seek out humid environments since they don't have any waxy protective coating on their cuticle. You'll definitely know what you're looking at if you find one. They have flat, reddish-brown bodies, up to 46 yellow legs, and their back legs are spiny to act as a form of protection against predators. They also have appendages filled with venom, which are on their heads and the first segment of their bodies. Because they are so incredibly massive, they also have considerable appetites to match. Sounds like my roommate. They will eat nearly anything they can catch, which, as it turns out, is quite a lot. Is this video about my roommate? They love eating birds, mice, frogs, snails. Come on, guys, this is clearly about Leonard. Well, okay. Insects, and even snakes. They use their toxins to subdue their prey, cut into them, then eat them. That sounds delightful. If this clarifies anything for me, it's that I really don't want to be hanging out in swamps. It just seems like all you find are dead bodies and possible dangers. Have you seen anything terrifying at, in, or near a swamp? We'd love to hear your stories. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!